Lola, not lately, actually, not, not recently. Uh, itching hands and feet at night. Well, I have had that for years as well. Could be to do with my body not processing, my liver not processing the, the, the medications I take very well, possibly. I've always thought that might be the reason. I um, haven't noticed it recently, actually. And considering I'm back on higher doses of things again, I'm surprised by that. Painful shins. Well, I've had that one this week. Oh, you know, the front of your legs, down down here. Uh, so that's unpleasant. I have a, I've had that many times over the years, but, I, you know, I don't know whether it's... It feels like a hoax for some reason at the moment. Pain in my left buttock. I uh, had that on and off for a while now, for a few months now. And the top of my left thigh comes and goes. I don't know what that's. I think that possibly could be something to do with yeast overgrowth. So that might not ever, that might not go away uh, unless I get the yeast really, really properly under control. Oh, slurred speech. That was a horrible one. I had that for, I know, like, 10 months or something. I had that for a long time. Um, where I, this is whilst on the antibiotics. Um, where I just didn't, felt like I couldn't control my tongue. Really unpleasant. And I couldn't speak very clearly. Um, not very nice. Um, pain in calf muscles and backs of thighs. The, the backs of my thighs, it was kind of near my knees. And it was the calf muscles near my knees. And, and I don't think it had anything to do with my knees, because my knees had gone right down at the time. There was no inflammation in them to speak of, anyway. Uh, not that I could detect, anyway. It was something to do with the drugs. Don't know what, really. But that's since gone. That's stopped. Uh, that sensation of heart attack, stroke, gallbladder attack, I've already talked about that. So that's my list. I do have a few other symptoms, but I associate them with uh, yeast overgrowth in my bowel, and that's pain in my back here. I had that really badly for a while, uh, but that's gone now, and I think that's because I've got good probiotics now, but um, hmm, who knows. Intolerance of dairy, but that again is probably down to taking antibiotics for long. But that, I'm okay again now. I think good probiotics have sorted that out. And um, just a feeling of real sort of fullness down here. Uh, not not great. Um, but again, I think that's bowel yeast, so I don't think that's necessarily anything to do with Lyme disease. Okay, i better stop talking. But that that is my weird herxing list. Uh, if anyone you've got anything to comment on that, I'd be very interested to hear it. Okay, bye for now. Okay, rambling. The, the other thing I wanted to say was um, that I've been watching these amazing videos. If for anybody who knows someone with multiple sclerosis, and I know a lot of us do, and I know that there's a lot of overlap with Lyme, so there might be a lot of people who have got multiple sclerosis symptoms who've got Lyme. And this is just really fascinating stuff. There's this guy on YouTube called Fane who does videos uh, once in a while, and he did a new one about the fact that he's had this operation... Uh, I say, no, it's a procedure, it's, it's like an outpatient procedure, I think it's uh, pretty um, uh, unintrusive in, in, lots of people have it who've got heart problems, they have a, a kind of um, narrowing stenosis, I think they call it, of the veins and arteries, where you have a kink, or a narrowing, or a blockage, um, and, and what they do is they make a small incision in your groin, or somewhere else in your arm, or something like that, and they, they put, um, I think, a wire through your vein, and blow up a balloon inside your vein to just increase the width at the narrow point. Or if they really need it, if they balloon that and it, and it closes again, they put a stent in, which is like a physical cage, I think, which holds the vein open. I'm not even sure. Stent, it's called, anyway. And the point is that for those people who've got decreased blood flow in these veins and arteries, it can be very serious. It can lead to heart attacks. I think possibly strokes as well, you know, blood clots and things like that can, can cause blockages. But for people who've got it in a in a more subtle way, I think, in a less sort of obviously life-threatening way, what's happening is called CCSVI. Now, go, and go to YouTube and Google it. And I can't recommend this enough. Honestly, it'll be worth your while if you do. Um, and, and what happens with them is they get uh, the, the blood is traveling back up the veins, back into the brain. It's kind of refluxing back into the brain. It's, it's not coming back down to the heart like it should. And uh, they think that maybe iron 
it's building up iron in their brain which is causing damage in the brain. and i should know this of all people, my dad died of a brain haemorrhage, a subarachnoid haemorrhage and i know how much damage blood in the brain causes when it's not supposed to be there um it it irritates the brain, it causes an immune reaction ah you know attracts the immune system to it, to this place it causes immense damage. of course my mum had a stroke as well, she had a blood clot in her brain and i know how much damage blood in the brain where it's not supposed to be can cause. so it doesn't surprise me in the least that this kind of ah subtle, more subtle problem could cause multiple sclerosis symptoms ah now i didn't know an awful lot about multiple sclerosis, i mean i know you know bits like we all do but i since watching these videos i see that there are very very specific symptoms of multiple sclerosis that you know the the problems with sight level vision lack of balance uh the drop foot not being able to pick up their feet um shaking of hands twitching god it all sounds a lot like lyme doesn't it but um anyhow um the point is after these people have had this uh um very you know minor in many ways procedure because people have it over the world, all over the world, all the time, every day. I mean, my father-in-law had it last year because he had a heart attack and he had a stent put in, and it's no big deal. Um, and um, so they they have this procedure, and after that, they've they've been doing fantastically. They've been doing before and after videos, and um, there there they are struggling to uh, get up out of their chair, struggling to walk. Uh, some of them are totally um, wheelchair bound and, and so on and struggling to see and struggling to think and that was the other thing about MS that I didn't know, I mean I could have guessed but I didn't really know it for sure, is that there's a lot of fatigue involved in MS, I mean god that's you know a limey's life all over and a rheumatoid arthritis and oh god it's all so familiar anyway but, but uh, they're talking about their fatigue lifting they can, you know many of them can walk pretty normally afterwards um, they can jump again, which is something uh, that they haven't been able to do for years in many cases. These are people who've had MS for 20 years, 30 years, 5 years, you know, really long-standing patients with symptoms that you would think that, that there'd be so much damage that it couldn't be reversed. Um, now, I mean, obviously, the, the, I'm sure a lot of these people do have damage that won't ever be reversed to their nerves, damage to their nerves that won't ever be reversed, but uh, it, there's enough positive benefit from having this done, even in a, even in a long-standing patient, that they're, that they're making massive, un, almost unimaginable improvements. Anyway, I do have a friend uh, of my own with MS, so I'll, I'll be making sure that he finds out about this as well. Um, as with so many of these um, uh, health issues, uh, as with Lyme, apparently the, the NHS won't, won't do this procedure, they won't even check to see if there are blockages. Uh, so people are having to travel to Bulgaria and, and Poland um, and uh, I think at the moment Scotland, a clinic in Scotland might be offering it. The point is it's very hard to access this treatment and, and um, I mean granted uh, the, these veins and arteries may well re-narrow again, re-stenose I think might be the word, they may re-narrow again and this uh, treatment might not be permanent but if nothing else it points to the need to get to the bottom of why these veins and arteries are kinked and thinned and narrowed and blocked and, and to, to research that aspect. But if nothing else, it offers people a way of improving their symptoms in a real way. I mean, everybody knows for MS, the drugs are not very effective, they don't do a lot for you, they don't halt the disease, they barely even slow it down. So anything is welcome. And you know, I've, I've seen so many, I'm really rambling, I'm sorry, but I've seen so many interviews with people uh, from MS uh, charities and so on, and doctors saying, ah, oh, well, you know, false hope, and these people are desperate, and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, I know that, we all know that. God, if you're suffering, if your life, if your existence is that hard every day, and every night, let's not forget the nights, you would do anything. But frankly, this seems like such an obvious avenue of, of research and such an obvious treatment to give somebody uh, when you can see these fantastic um, miraculous transformations and there are tens of them on, on YouTube go and have a look it's so cheered up my dad couldn't tell you um, it just seems crazy that anybody would deny that this helps uh, but you know we've been here before, so I, 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 you know, with the antibiotics and everything, it just seems like things are staring doctors in the face, and they won't admit it, and they won't see it. 
Um, anyhow, uh, I've had better stuff. I've been going on for ages. So, feeling really good at the moment, but probably going to ask my doctor about changing to cefiroxime anyway, just because I'm getting covered in bruises. Anyway, well, uh, I may regret that decision. We'll have to see. Uh, bye for now.